welcome to another real fishing tackle review. I'm going to talk to you today about the Pinpoint Hooks Deluxe Sharpening Kit. Now, before I do, I'm going to just explain to you why, what benefits you have from sharpening your hooks. A lot of us don't realise that through the underwater videos that we see, fish picking up baits, that they get away with it. Now, standard hook out of the packet catches fish. There's no doubt about it. Week in, week out, lots of fish are caught using a standard out of the packet hook. Now, that's a good hook. You know, most of them today, the technology, they're sharp. But by sharpening your hooks, you're going to make them perfect. Now, you're going to convert more pickups into fish landed. If you can imagine that your hook straight out of the packet is like a wedge shape like that. That's the point, it's like a wedge shape. And what we're trying to do by sharpening it on the sides, three sides only, we're trying to make it into a more pointed point. So it's gonna go in, logic tells you, physics tell you, it's gonna go in further, quicker, as a hook sharper. And that's what the benefits of sharpening an already good hook to a perfect hook. Now there's lots of different kits out there, and lots of different sharpening tools. They're first made famous by Jag have brought out their, their, their sharpening, their hook sharpening kit. I mean, I used it for years, brilliant bit of kit, sharpens up your hooks. I've caught loads of fish using it. You know, it's a good bit of kit. But if everything, technology moves on and, you know, things are improved. And that's what I believe the pinpoint hooks sharpening tools are. Oh, it's a next level, it's a different gravy. It's a, you, you know, it's up the game really, it's a game changer. So let's just have a look. I'll go through everything to do with it and I'll give you a quick little demonstration of how much quicker it is using these tools. First of all, Deluxe Kit, it's made, it's made by a German company. So, you know, the technology and the quality is gonna be A number one. Anything that comes out of Germany, you look at their cars, Mercedes, Audi, BMW, they've got an eye for, you know, perfection. So it's a hard case, very hard. You stick it in your box, you stick it in your bag, and it's not gonna damage any of the tools in there at all. Nice hard wearing zip, the hard case. There we go, we open it up. And we've got, in there, we've got our, our file. There's our file, we've got one of those. We've got our tool, which uh, this is what I like, this is, this is sort of next level sort of sort of stuff. Really easy. Whether you're right or left-handed, really easy to use. It just tightens up and unscrews by just unscrewing it. All you do is you place your your hook, just place it in that little gap there, place it in there, and what that do is that will hold it central. You just tighten it up. And the way it's been built, this particular bit of kit, this vice, is that it makes the hook go into the center and straight and perfect. Just tighten it up, and then you've got all ready to be worked on. So you've got one of those, vice, vice in there as well. You've got your, your sharpening stones, your finishing off stones. And another nice little uh, attention to detail is that after a while of, of sharpening your hooks, it's, it's gonna wear out. So, you can just take it out and just turn it round. You know, you just turn it round. You use the full length. You know, it's cost effective. It's, um, you know, a little tent of detail like that. And you get a spare stone also in the kit. Also, we've got in a little compartment there, we've got a magnifying glass. Now, a lot of other kits have magnifying glasses in. This one's a little bit special because it's got a built-in LED. So if it's dark, or you know, I do a lot of my hook sharpening on the bank. So after I've got all the rods out, sometimes it's late, late and it's got dark and I want to sharpen up some hooks for the next day or the next trip. So I do it when I'm fishing. I have very little time when I'm indoors. If you're indoors, you won't need the light. You've got plenty of light in the house, haven't you? So that's just an LED light, you just switch it on. You can you can look at it like that, it just shines an extra bit of light to give you, you know, so you've got the best view of how sharp that hook is. Again, retention to detail, takes a little battery in there, and there's a little 
small little device there which you unlock and you can change the battery easy as that you know they, they thought of everything everything so there's your um magnifying glass okay so right so there you go that's that's your your, your deluxe kit now you get this kit uh, place like tackle box i think bristol Eggly sent to do the kit but there's a standard kit as well which is obviously cheaper which is a smaller package uh, and i think they sell sell them direct from germany pinpoint hooks just do a search on google and you'll, you'll find it in addition to your deluxe kit you can purchase various accessories uh, i'm just going to explain a couple of them to you and the reason why i use them you don't have to have them but they just add that little bit of um finesse and attention to detail if you do we have three permanent marker pens now, there's a black one a green one and a brown one these you, i mean you can use these for your end tackle as well they double up so if you've got a a, a light braided hook link and you're fishing over silt and you don't want it to stand out you just use these and you can colour it up but the main purpose is once you've taken off the coating from the point it can be glare it can glare up as so you put one of these on and you make it all dark again so it doesn't stand out that's your thing <clears throat> but also where you take that protective coating off and you cast out into the lake some lakes you're really back in the morning and it's rusty well why is that it's the acid in the water, or the pH in the water, is eating away at the bare metal. So using these, just to colour it up, just to put that coating back on after you've sharpened it, you're not going to get that. You know, it could well blunt the hook when it starts to rust. You know, that, that it, it's, um, you know, it's a little tension to detail like that will put more fish on the bank. Another nice little touch is, I don't fully coat with one of these permanent pens right to the tip. Because in my mind, it, it, it's you're putting another layer on that point, which is perfect. You know, you're making that wedge shape a little bit more. So pinpoint hooks, they put in a little, a little container there, with what can only be described as like a, a lubricant, like um, it, it, it repels water, a bit of Vaseline, I suppose, but harder, harder substance. And all you do is once you finish, just get your hook. Once you finish completing it, sharpening it up and coating it, just get your hook and just dab the tip in there like that and that protects the very tip if that's your thing but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how much easier it is to sharpen with this kit so we've got our we've got it all central positioned we take our file and the way you sharpen hooks like I mean you've probably seen it a million times before on YouTube but and there's lots of different ways to do it this is the way I do it and it takes very little time under a minute we want to take the sides off first, so always away from the point as well. So one, two, three, four, five away. One, two, three, four, five away along the sides. Give it a little blow and give it a little check. You know, that's that's what the magnifying glass is for. Just check you've taken off right down to where you want to take it off for. Lovely. And then we're going to start on the top. Now don't need to put any pressure on this at all. I found with other sharpening files, whether it's because I've used them so much and I've worn them away, but I was having to put more and more pressure on it, and that's not how to sharpen it. You end up, there's a few times where I was getting, the point was, um, I was cutting the point off, where I was just too much force. So you just get this on the top and away from you again, away from the point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine ten do a little blow again check with your magnifying glass you see yep yeah, i've taken it all the way down to the point just a little a little touch as well you get used to using your finger as well to me to just just to back up what you're seeing and the it, in the magnifying glass you'll just get used to it you know the more you do the more you're oh yeah that that's sharp let's get in there couple more I think one two three four five give it a blow give it another look make sure you haven't done anything wrong lovely little feel of it now oh that feels the more you do it the more you'll get used to feeling if that's perfect and then backing it up with your magnifying glass just to have a little look make sure that point is as a point as can be another feel 
Oh, that's, that's more or less damn near it, that is. That's, that's on the money, that one. <clears throat> so to finish it off, we use our, our sharpening stone, which isn't as harsh as your, as your tool, your sharpening tool. And what we're trying to do is just round off those edges. Because if you imagine, what we've done is we've done a square like that. We've done the sides and we've done the top. It's a square. We want to take these top bits off now to make it more of a rounder profile. Because again, logics and physics, it go in further. Again, no pressure. Just one, two, three, four, five. Give it a little blow. It takes any excess off of the stone. One, two, three, four, five. Give it a blow. Oh, bloody hell, that's sharp. Give it a look on there. Make sure you've got the right, right profile. Perfect. To finish it off, we get our permanent markers, like I said before, I just want to take it up to the tip with the permanent marker. Don't want to take it to the tip. You can do, you can take it all the way to the tip. It's how you want to do it. The way I do it isn't set in stone. It's how you get used to doing it, whatever works for you. So we do the side at the top, like that, and the sides, but not taking it up to the point. Give that a little blow. 10 seconds and that'd be dry. And then we get a little, little tub of goodness and just poke the point in you can see it there just poke the point in give it a little dip in and what it does that just coats that precision point now there you go as easy as that wasn't it minute would it take me minute and a half two minutes max from start to finish perfect hook from a sharp hook and i made it into an absolute perfect hook that's going to land you more fish convert more bites convert more pickups into bites and fish ready for you to take photographs with. There you go, the Pinpoint Deluxe Hook Sharpening Kit. Check it out at your nearest stockist or direct from Germany.